Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another photo beat tutorial. I'm showing you guys how you can make an Apex Legends thumbnail super easily for free right here, right now in photo beat. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do is walk you through each step of this by just hiding some of these layers and talking about them individually. So let's start out with the background. So I'm just going to hide all these layers. And also the project link will be down in the description below if you just want to use the template feel free to do that or if you want to see how it's done stick around and i'll show you okay so the background is just an apex legends background i looked up or you can use a screenshot it's up to you and uh, what i did was i added a blur a gaussian blur specifically and that's really all i did now let's move on to the gun so i'm going to bring in the gun here's the gun and i basically cut this out from a screenshot of gameplay and I made a video on this. It'll be down in the description below as well if you want to see how to cut things out like this. It'll make your thumbnails way better. But it is kind of time consuming. So a lot of you guys might not want to do that. But I did it and it looks really nice. And you can see there's some kind of glow around it. And I don't know exactly how I got it to fade from like a blue to a purplish color. But all I did was add a outer glow with the color dodge blend mode. And I just made it purple. That's all I did and it looks super cool. So that's the gun. Now let's move on to the text. So I'm going to unhide these. So we got Apex Legends and it looks really clean. I like that a lot. So basically all I did was have a gradient overlay from a dark purple to like a pinkish color. I added a inner glow, which is color dodge with white. And you can copy these settings if you want. And I also added a stroke, which is just the white outline around the text. And I did a similar thing to the legends part, but it's a different color. So it's um, like a pinkish hot pink color to red and everything else is like basically the same. But on this one, I added a drop shadow so you can see the difference. It just makes it a little bit easier to read. And yeah, so that's the text. Now let's move on to the next part. So right here, I added a shape, which is a border around the picture. All you got to do to do this is go to your rectangle tool. Make sure the fill is this X. That means transparent and change the stroke to white and turn the pixels up to about 25. If you're using a 1280 by 720 canvas size. And when you hold left click and draw it out, you can see it's white. So let me start at the top left, draw all the way to the bottom. And here's the border. Now what you want to do is just go over here to the blend mode and change it to overlay. So it'll start white and then you want to change it to overlay and it'll turn it to like a transparent looking border, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, that's how you do that. So I added a little vignette now. It kind of adds like darkness around the edges so that you can see the center of focus better and you can hide it and see the difference. I think it looks better with it. I also added a white light behind the text. I just used a brush and made it white, turned the opacity down a, a bit and put it behind the text. That's all I did. And now up here, we got brightness and contrast. This just kind of made the picture a little bit brighter. We have curves. And for the curves, what I did was I went to the red channel. I went up on this line, down on this line. For the green, I did the same thing, but the blue, I went down and then up. So it was opposite of the other ones. So that's all you have to do there. And now the color balance, the color balance really makes it look really good. And this is what I did for the color balance. You can see here and copy these settings if you want, or you can mess around with it and get different colors. It's up to you, but I think it looks great. So that's all I did. And I hope you guys do enjoy this template. Feel free to use it. You don't have to give me credit. Just use it, enjoy it. And that's all I got for you guys today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.